So what we did was we added the hit particle, which was the particle emulation, so that when the guy gets hit, he actually emits some particles. And the way we did this was we right-clicked on Dodge This Skip, the folder, or you can go to File, New. And when you go to File to create a new file, you go to iOS, Resource, and you click Sprite Kit Particle File. And all you have to do is say that, yes, you want to spark. You can choose a bunch of different other ones. You click Next, and you create that particle. And you want to make sure that it's saved in your document. So here we have the hit particle, and we also have the spark. So you can use any image you want. You could have him um, emit cash or <laughs> anything you want. Now what we'll do is we'll get the guy to actually emit those particles once he gets hit. So what we can do is we can go to our hero dot swift. Is he currently emitting particles? And we'll say no, he's not currently emitting particles. And we'll say how long is we're going to do the same thing we did for the bad guys. How long is he going to emit particles for? Currently he's on frame zero. We'll keep track of what frame he's on, and we'll say that the max emit uh, frame count. How many frames is he going to emit particles for? He's going to emit particles for, let's say, 30 frames. That's pretty short, and you can play around with these numbers, and I suggest you do that. And then we'll just keep track of his particle itself. So we'll say that it's an SK emitter node, and that's how you use the emit particles part. And in the constructor, we'll say that they need to now pass us particles, which is going to be an SK emitter node. And then down here, you'll just say self.particles is equal to particles. So now that we have the guy's particles saved, we're going to have some errors in the uh, Swift game scene because we're not passing the particles to the hero. So we need to make sure we do that. So when we're actually adding Jeff, we need to also create some particles. So we can say hero particles is equal to a new SK emitter node. And we're going to base that off of a file named, which is the file we just created called hitparticles.sks. So now we'll have these particles as an SK emitter node based off of the file. So now we can say, well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to say hero particles.hidden. So we're going to hide those particles so they don't show up right away. And when we initialize the hero, we can also initialize his particles. Particles. And we will initialize those particles now. So now we have a hero with his particles and we want to make sure that we add the particles to the hero so that the particles come out of the hero and not just randomly on the stage. So we can say Jeff.addChild and we will add the hero particles to Jeff. So now the hero has particles. Now we need to emit those particles and this is going to be easy because all we need to do is when he gets contacted game over is going to be true and we can just say hero.emit is equal to true. It's nice to just set these booleans rather than making him actually emit here. It's better to set booleans and then do the emitting in the correct place. And the correct place to do this is going to be in the um, update function. So in the update function, we can just say update hero emitter. So we're going to update his particle situation. And we'll make a function called update hero emitter. And here we will do this on every frame, but we won't necessarily show them. So we'll say if hero.emit, like he's currently emitting particles, and hero.emit frame count is less than hero.max emit frame count, but we're going to continue to show those particles. So we're going to say continue to show the particles. So increase the emit frame count. He's going to emit particles for a little bit longer. We'll say hero.particles.hidden is equal to false. So we are going to show those particles. Otherwise, if it's greater than the frame count and the hero should be emitting those particles, we can say hero.emit is equal to false. We'll turn off the particles emitting and we'll say hero.particles.hidden is equal to true, so we'll hide the particles as well, physically, and then we'll reset the emit frame count to zero. So it's just about showing and hiding those particles. That's all it's about. We can actually run this and see the particles emit 
from our hero. And we have an error. We can check over here to see what this is. Oh, hero particles is nil. We must not have initialized that correctly. So let's test to see what we did here. Okay, so our problem is, is that hit particles is not the right name. This should be hit particle. Probably should rename the file, but we will just leave it at that. So that should be singular hit particle. And we'll run this again. So now let's see what happens when he gets hit. And you can see that he just emitted particles for only a brief amount of time, and then he's done. So that is the emitting of the particles from the hero. Now we need to uh, reset their position and do some score and timing stuff, and we'll be done with this game.